Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm a junior at SCET. I like your work! <laughs> and this is my poem to the golden people. Some beautiful people aren't fashioned in gold and silver. They're forged in guilt and sorrow because they've been broken time and time again and where those dark cracks endlessly stretch like a long paved road that hasn't led home yet. When darkness owns the body and spirit. When darkness owns my body and spirit. So I learned to see the world through rose-colored glasses. It only makes sense that used to be my favorite color, but you can't find your way through the dark with those, so instead I constructed a wall around my tempered glass heart so I wouldn't be the one hurt. Except when you're young and naive, your steel wall is made of paper mache and silent prayers that you only dare to say to yourself. But you gotta find a way to make it work somehow. When my tongue becomes heavier than my problems, music is my only language and my healing because to heal is to grow stronger. Sometimes. But depression isn't just deep, dark pits that contain scary monsters from under our beds and in our closets. It's ups and downs and sideways, and I can't even tell you what way that is, constantly trying to find the end of a twisted maze to the ones who are struggling alone. I see you, and I'm happy you're still here. But there will be people who say maybe sunshine is only meant for those who can't learn to dance in the rain. But I'm here twisting my tango steps as thunder clashes above my head, my only symphony. But I promise I'm trying. They assure me that sunshine all the time makes a desert. But their Bible told me rainstorms all the time make a flood, a raging current that drowns out the world until I need to start from scratch because I can't remember who I was. There are no more remnants of the girl who dreamed of touching the stars. Now I can only hope of finding constellations in a different way. I want to taste the stars because it would be so much better than the flavor of worthlessness already sitting on my tongue because some people have made it very clear I am not worthy of feeling loved. When will I be worth my weight in gold? It would have taken one hand to just reach out and hold when the flood hit. Isn't it funny, in an ocean of golden people clicking and claiming to understand, hashtag relatable, hashtag retweet. Not a single one noticed me drowning. 